Hi, I'm Corey McGuire, the Chief Engagement Officer for Dale Carnegie Training of Nevada. I want to talk to you tonight about a sales technique. Oh, just for some of you, you'll shudder. Cold calling, right? Well, believe it or not, in the Dale Carnegie business, we still do cold, cold calling. That's right, we walk into businesses and we ask to speak to the person that's in charge of training and development for their organization. And we walk in with information that we're gonna drop off to give to that decision maker. And it dawned on me one day that every time I would go into these businesses, you see the no solicitation sign, you know, enter at your own risk, and sometimes you didn't see anything. Well, you know what, I'm going in no matter what. And, you know, you walk in and typically there's someone sitting behind a desk. Typically, we refer to them as the receptionist. And what I realized was that I had a lot of trepidation about what we would call or what I learned to identify as the gatekeeper. Now think about that, right? When you just think about that concept, what do you think about? At least what I thought about was the company's this castle, this beautiful castle, and it has all these diamonds inside. And my job is to get past that gatekeeper in order to slam dunk a sale. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, is she going to roll the cables down? Is she going to open the bridge to me? Am I going to have to step over alligators and sharks that are in the moat surrounding the castle? And I began to think, wait a minute. When we do business with these companies, that quote unquote gatekeeper, that we get petrified of is actually not a gatekeeper at all. That person is really a concierge desk. It's a mindset change. Think about a concierge. When you say the word concierge, the first thing that comes to my head is a help desk. Yeah, that's right, because guess what? That's the person in that company that knows where everybody is, the best way to get in touch with them, when they'll be back in the office, if they're on vacation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I looked back over my Dale Carnegie book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, and I looked at the different human relations principles, and I realized that the principle 17, try honestly to see things from the other person's point of view, I wasn't practicing that very well. So I decided I'm going to change this around. I'm going to do something different. So number one, any material that I was bringing out to drop off to that decision maker, I would provide that very same material to the concierge. They're just as important as the decision maker that you're trying to get to. The second thing I would do is if I brought a pen out or some kind of little Dale Carnegie pamphlet, same thing for that concierge. So that's the second thing. The third thing is more conceptual about cold calling. The reason why I like cold calling in person is because when I drop off that packet of information, I know at the very least that that decision maker is going to get that on their desk. And that's brand recognition when they see Dale Carnegie. That's brand recognition for your company. It may not create the sense of urgency for them to call you back, but they're still seeing it. And most of us are visual learners. So now when I follow up the next day and I simply say to the decision maker, if I get him on the phone, I dropped some information off to your office yesterday. Now I'm further solidifying the Dale Carnegie name, the Dale Carnegie brand. But let's get back to the concierge for a minute because I'd much rather talk about that. The other principle that I thought about in Dale Carnegie, in addition to trying to see things from that person's point of view, is think about it. That person in that concierge role, we're going to use that term from now on, they are sitting there and people like us are disrupting them all day long. They didn't ask for us to come in. They weren't sitting there waiting and saying, where's that Dale Carnegie person? How come she hasn't come by yet? Right? And a lot of times they're answering the phones or people give them spreadsheets to proofread and every time there's interruption, they have to look up from what they're doing and then look back down again and get focused. So when we walk in, we have to think about how can I approach that concierge 
in a way that's respectful of their time and of the fact that we're in an eruption. Another Dale Carnegie principle, imagine that, ask for help. So imagine this now, you walk into a company that you're cold calling to. You're going to give the same information to the concierge as you are to the decision maker. And when you walk in, instead of saying, hi, I'm Corey McGuire with Dale Carnegie Training. And I am here because I wanted to try to find out who the person in your organization is that makes decision about employee development and training. Instead, I say, as they look up at me all the time, and go, may I help you? And I say instead, thank you so much for asking. As a matter of fact, I need a lot of help. And they usually laugh. And then I say to them, you know, I'm with Dale Carnegie. My name's Corey McGuire. I'm trying to find out who the person is that makes the decision about employee training and development, I get a completely different response. And here's why. Because Dale Carnegie said that the number one craving that we have as human beings is to feel important. And when we ask people to help us, that makes them feel important.